This isn't just a drop of water, it's a liquid marble, water that acts as a semi-solid. And today I'm going to show you what it is, how it works and how you can make one yourself. As we know, water has surface tension. It's what allows bugs to walk on ponds. It naturally wants to minimize its surface area, which is why a small drop of water pulls itself into a bowl. But normally, if you drop some water onto a tabletop, the droplets stick and spread out. That's because water forms hydrogen bonds with the surface. In a water molecule, the hydrogen atom has a slightly positive charge and the oxygen atom has a slightly negative charge. So each water molecule forms a hydrogen bond, which means the oxygen is pulled towards the hydrogen and held together. The same thing happens with water on a bench. The bench top actually has some atoms, like the oxygen in the water, that are slightly negatively charged. And so the hydrogen atoms in the water attract those atoms on the bench, and that's what causes water to stick to the surface. And so if we look at a droplet of water on a lotus leaf, you'll see it beads up and doesn't stick to the surface of the leaf. That's because the leaf surface is hydrophobic, which means water hating. And so liquid marbles are droplets of water coated in hydrophobic particles. Much like the lotus leaf, the particles don't like to mix with water, and so they form a shell that the water cannot escape from. The powder I've used is graphite, and it is hydrophobic. But here's something cool. Pure and clean graphite is actually a bit hydrophilic, which means water loving. But the fact is, we live in the real world and impurities are everywhere. The graphite powder I have has already been contaminated by airborne hydrocarbons. Unlike in the water molecule, how there are slightly positive and negatively charged sides, the carbon and hydrogen atoms in the hydrocarbons are actually very well balanced with each other, so they don't pull and push on each other or on other atoms. In other words, they don't form hydrogen bonds with themselves or any other atom. So the slightly water-loving clean graphite that I have has been coated in balanced molecules of hydrocarbons, and that's what makes the graphite hydrophobic and not bond with the water droplet. And so when I coat the drop with this graphite powder, it stops the water from forming hydrogen bonds with the surface it's on, and that allows it to roll around and not stick, just like a marble, hence liquid marble. And what's interesting is the powder isn't staying on the water droplet because it's attracted to the water, it's held on by surface tension, and friction between the grains of powder help keep them from sliding off. So to make one is actually really simple. I have a dropper here of water and some graphite powder. You could use lycopodium powder, talcum powder, teflon powder, or any other fine hydrophobic particle. I found that graphite powder was easily accessible from my local hardware store. But all you need to do is sprinkle a small amount of the graphite powder out. I've just got some baking paper down here. And then you just need to put a small drop of water onto the powder. And then roll it around to coat it. And then just like that, you have yourself a semi-solid liquid marble. Liquid marbles are so cool. It's a liquid pretending to be a solid, all thanks to surface tension, a bit of particle physics, and a little air pollution. Hey, check out this video here if you enjoyed this one. It's about an anti-bubble. It's pretty cool and surprisingly easy to make yourself. But if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.